you for joining us today on this episode of Heart Strong Faith TV. I'm your host, Rebecca Carroll. You can also find me Monday through Friday from 5.30 to 8.30 a.m. on 90.9 KCBI. So I'm really excited about my guest today. This is Lisa Burkhart Worley. Lisa and I, just so you know, because this is going to be a whole lot like girlfriends sitting around <laughs> yes. having coffee. Lisa and I have been friends for at least a decade. We're not sure exactly how we got to be friends, but we know it was in a ministry setting. And Lisa and I did a speaking ministry for some time together. And so Lisa is one of our Heart Strong Faith breakout speakers at this conference. I prayed and asked her to come, and she just so graciously said yes. And so I consider thank you. it an honor. It's an honor oh. to come and speak at Heart Strong. I've been there as just a participant, and it's a fabulous conference. I'm so excited to be a part of it. Well, it's an honor for us, first of all, that you're here, but it's an honor for you that she is going to be a part of it because to sit under this woman's teaching, Lisa has not only been a friend to me, she has been a friend mentor slash example to me. Lisa and I have media in common in our background, except... Your background's a little cooler. Oh, I don't know. I was oh. a sportscaster. That's, I mean, when it wasn't cool to be a sportscaster, somebody called me a pioneer, and I'm thinking, yeah, I don't know if I like that yeah. word. You so, know, I see hoop skirts, and you know. <laughs> <laughs> so let me just. She worked for, I mean, just small, small companies. You probably never heard of them. Like, um, I don't know, ESPN. You know, maybe you've heard of ESPN or. You know, inside the NFL, you know, just little <laughs> things that you wouldn't have heard of. But now you're in ministry. I am, and I love it. And, I, you're, and you're joining us at the conference. So will you, will you share with us a little bit about your breakout session? Sure. You know, I'm going to, my title is, Can You Hear Me Now? Remember the old Verizon commercials? Now Can that guy's now? jumped Can ship and he's uh, working for another company. But, but that was such a powerful uh, co uh, commercial. And it really reminded me of how God... Uh, tries to speak to us. He he wants us to hear his voice. And many times I think he's saying, can you hear me now? Rebecca, can you hear me now? Lisa, can you hear me now? And so, um, and the second part of that title is discerning the voice of God. Now, I've done this message before, back when we were doing our speaking at our mutual church. Right. But I I just couldn't, God never lets me re-rack a talk because, I, I mean, it's just would be so easy it if I could so just easy. give that one. Same talk over, no. Right. Mm -mm. But he has taught because he's taught me so much about hearing his voice since that time and so he's given me all these new concepts and new ways to hear his voice in fact i'm going to do something called the seven p's to remember and and that first p i'm going to give you a sneak preview uh the first p is personal quiet time now you think well okay lisa that's nothing new but as a part of that quiet time worship has mm. become key uh, to hearing the voice of God. I heard a speaker, Rebecca, who uh, was complaining about the worship team, right? And he's, he was about to speak, and he said, did you hear them, Lord? They were awful. And, and then he clearly heard the voice of God say, <laughs> well, I think it's beautiful uh, because they're singing to me. He goes, why? the Lord says, why don't you sing to me? And he was so convicted. Yeah. And when I heard him tell that story, I was convicted as well. In fact, I began to weep because I cannot tell you how many mornings God has woken me up with a worship song. Oh, he me is, too. He wakes me up. And, and Rebecca, I don't know if you've ever thought of this, but that is God's alarm clock. He is waking you up with a worship song, and I would never thought about singing it back to him. I always have this, like, because I've done that too, and I'm sure you've done that too. You wake up and you literally, as you're waking up, you have a song playing in your mind. And I've always thought, is that you singing to me, Lord? Are yes. you are you singing me away? Because I sing my, when I when I'm home. You know, I work in the mornings, but when I'm home, I love to sing my kids away. And you're a great singer. You know, you, oh. maybe you don't know, but she used to be on the worship team <laughs> at our church. She's a great singer. It's oh, not just you. closet singing like me. But uh, anyway, so I get this message that, uh, to sing to the Lord, and let me tell you, worship opens up. Mm -hmm. His presence. I, I, I say worship is the gate code to God's presence. And so what I started doing is I started worshiping him. And what is it? Psalm 104 says, enter his courts with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Yes. Uh, because I've entered his courts with praise and worship, he is, I've got his attention. 
and and uh, he's going to start speaking to me. And when I lift up those prayer concerns, um, I'm going to hear his voice more clearly because I have opened that door right. Uh, right. to hear from him. And I've always thought, too, in the economy of God, faith comes before the miracle, right? And so you almost have to walk something out, act it out before the emotion follows. And I have found that when I am in, like, just when praise is the last thing in the world I want to (laughs) do, if I will start to praise and if I will start to worship, God is very quick to reward that faith with the emotion of it. That's right. He lifts your spirits. I remember when I first moved to North Texas from San Antonio, it was a very difficult time. And I met you kind of in that yeah. stretch. Uh, but in the 2005, 2006, I was down a lot. KCBI was really wonderful because Aww. I would listen to KCBI every <laughs> morning. And, and but, it, but when I started to praise God and I started to worship him, I began to sing. I been, began to infiltrate my house with praise music. It certainly changed the atmosphere. Something changes. In the, sp- mm-hmm. in the heavenly realms, I really believe. That's right. That praise triggers a, a reaction. That's right. So Lisa is speaking at one of the breakout sessions, and I've I have been privileged, honored, and humbled to sit under her teaching many, many times. I would really encourage you if this is something you're interested in hearing more about. I would encourage you if you have not bought your tickets yet to sign up for Lisa Burkhart Worley's um, breakout session. Now I want to one more thing before I okay, let you sure. go because uh, questions that I hear a lot are number one how do you hear the voice of God? And you're going to be talking about that. She just gave us a little taste. Here's the second one. How do we know it's God? Are you going to address that at all? I will address that because I do think that you need, uh, I need multiple messages. I do too. Yeah, I'm I'm a Moses, you know. Sure. (laughs) I'm not going to accept it right away. Uh, And a lot of times when you, somebody will say, I've got a word for you. And I don't know if that's happened to you, but uh, when someone says I have a word for you, I test it. I'm sorry. I I just duck. That's just what I do. No, I test it. And so I I said, Lord, if this is a word from you, will you show me again? Show me in your word. And that's happened so many times where he's repeated repeated the message. I'm going to talk about that too. Oh, I don't want to give it all away, but I'm going to talk about patterns, how God speaks to us through patterns. And I'm going to give some examples of that. Well, you will be so blessed. I've been blessed just talking with you today. So thank you for, thank you. I love you. I love you too. I love this woman so much. And she, her friendship is just precious to me. This woman is grace saturated and really does truly reflect the love of Christ in everything she does, in every capacity in which she serves. Would you uh, do me a favor? Lisa has written a bunch of books. She's an incredible writer, prolific writer. She blogs at pearlsofpromiseministries.com. Go to pearlsofpromiseministries.com. Take a look at her body of work, look at her books, and learn more about Lisa for yourself. And of course, if you have not done so yet, please do get your tickets to the HeartStrong Faith Women's Conference, February 23rd and 24th at First Baptist Dallas. We'll be joined by Lisa Harper, Margaret Feinberg, Debbie Stewart, Jill Briscoe. I'll be speaking as well, and Lisa will too. So we would love to see you there. All the details are uh, right here at the website where you already are, which is heartstrongfaith.com.